Okay, one more video from page 1076, and this is about functions on page uh, 40, 40, 45, 46. Uh, this is more like a brain game, okay? It's supposed to be kind of fun <clears throat> and uh, challenging us to figure out a pattern. And we, all we have to know is that if we are, if we have an equation and we plug in these values for x, we should be able to solve and get a corresponding y value for each of those. So I'm looking at this first one and trying to think, okay, do I see some kind of a pattern between these? Like if I plug in two, what would I have to do to two to get one? Well, I could say x minus one because two minus one is one. But let's see if that would work here. If I plugged in four for x, four minus one would be three. It's not two. Ah, that doesn't work. Okay, same here, six minus one is, so that doesn't work. Let's think about this. Is there another way to get from two to one or from four to two, six? <gasps> are you seeing what I'm seeing? I think all of these y values are half the value of x. Let's see if this works. So if I take and multiply one half times x, now that would be the same as saying x over two, okay? Same thing. Let's see if this works. So if I plug in two here for x, what's two times one half? One, yay! Let's see if I plug in uh, four. So four times one half, or four divided by two, yay, it works. Six, do the same thing. Yes, that works, and it works here as well. All right, see the pattern? Okay. Now this one looks a little more difficult. This one says if I plug in zero, I'm supposed to get five. If I plug in one, I'm supposed to get four. Plug in two, and I'm supposed to get three. Plug in three, and I'm supposed to get two. Wow, this is, this is confusing. Um, so what if I said y equals x plus five? That would work here, wouldn't it? Zero plus five equals five. Yay! Let's plug in one. One plus five. Oh, wait a minute. That's not going to work because that gives me six. One plus five is six, and two plus five is seven. So if these were different numbers, if this was five, six, seven, eight, then this rule would work, okay? But that's not, what, that's not what's working. So I gotta play around with it some more and see, ooh, let's see if I see a pattern here. What's one plus four? Five? What, what's two plus three? Five? Three plus two is five, zero plus five is five? <gasps> what if I do y equals five minus x. Let's see if that works. Now I can take x, plug in 0, 5 minus 0. <gasps> that works. Plug in 1, 5 minus 1, and it gives me the y value of 4. You see how this is working? Plug in 2 and you get 3. Plug in 3, you get 2. I could keep going. I could plug in 4 up here. Let's see what would I get if I plugged in 4. I'd get 1. You know, I could even keep going and get negative numbers if I wanted to. All right, so this pattern is uh, representative of this rule, okay? So sometimes we have to multiply or divide x in order to get the y value. This one was a subtraction, but we actually start with the bigger number, minus x to get y. Now let's see what happens here. All right, what would I have to do to x to get y? So what if I did x plus 1? Okay, that works here. But if I plug in 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, not 3. And 2 plus 1 is 3, not 5. Eh, that's not going to work. Mm. Well, wait a minute. Wait just a minute here. This looks like it's double this twice this plus one, five. Five is two doubled plus one. Ah, I think we're on to something. 
Three is one more than one doubled. Does that work for zero? Let's try it. So I'm going to put a two in front of the x. Two x plus one. Remember, we've got to follow the order of operations. So in my mind, I'm plugging in. I'm going to start here at the bottom this time. Plug in three. What's two times three? Six. And then six plus one? Seven. Yay! Let's plug in two. Two times two is four. Four plus one. It works. I bet it's going to work with the one. Let's try it. Plug in one, two times one is two plus three, plus one is three, and it even works with zero because two times zero is zero. Anything times zero is zero. So two times zero is zero plus one, I get one. All right, so we just did three problems here on the board, similar, if not identical, to a couple of problems that you're gonna have in your homework, and maybe one of them is on your upcoming checkup. I don't know. I can't remember if I chose one from there or not. But uh, hopefully that'll help you. The games, okay? Don't get frustrated with them. Think it through. If you need help, you know, have an older sibling or a parent sit down with you and see if you can figure out what the pattern is. There's only a couple of them that you'll see on the checkup, the self-test and the pace test. You're not going to fail for not being able to figure out this game. But I think they'll have easier ones on the final tests that you should be successful with. Okay?